Hello viewers, welcome to Home Cooking with me, Hema Subramanian. Today's recipe is a lovely sweet dish. Any guesses? Well, it is wheat halwa. Now, this wheat halwa is made with the samba variety, whole grain wheat. Let's get started. One cup samba whole grain wheat. Now, this has been soaking for about eight hours now. You can soak it overnight or for a minimum of about eight hours. Only then it'll be nice and soft. So, this is how it should be. So now I'm going to grind this into a nice fine paste. Add a little water. Strain it. Take a saucepan, add a teaspoon of ghee. Now what I'm going to do is first add the milk, the wheat milk. Now you can turn on the stove because a little bit of instant heat also can cause lumps. Keep stirring it till it becomes thick. So now you can see it's thickening beautifully. Now you can add the cardamom powder, one teaspoon. So add, taken one cup of sugar, I'm going to add half of this now. And we're going to caramelize a little bit of the sugar. Add the remaining sugar and let it wait till it dissolves and caramelizes. So you can see the sugar is completely dissolved and it's got a lovely brown color to it. It's beautifully caramelized. So this is a good time to turn off the stove. You have to keep stirring this. You cannot leave this aside and go. So if you want a darker color, you can caramelize the sugar a little more. You can see it's got a lovely light brown color. The wheat halwa, I'm going to add ghee. Initially, I'm adding half cup and I would be adding a little more later. So you can see the halwa is uh, not sticking to the sides. When it comes off the sides, that's when you know that the halwa is done and you can transfer it into a nice serving dish. Grease it with a little ghee. Garnish it with some roasted cashew nuts. You can try this lovely wheat halwa for this Sankranti and enjoy with your family. Wish you all a very happy Sankranti. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram.